Hi everybody, it's John with Backyard Eden, and today I just want to bring you a video on a simple DIY project that you can do in your backyard that will get you to grow more food. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, we're back here and we are in the backyard garden uh, and I've got a simple DIY project for you today. Uh, it is a super easy way to grow more food in a small space. Alright, so today what we're looking at guys is we are building a DIY gutter system uh, using gutters that you would buy at your local big box store, your local Home Depot, your local Lowe's, uh, whatever. Uh, but it's really super simple. I'm going to build this system. Um, so that I can grow more strawberries. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. All right, so for this project today, to build this, you're gonna need a couple of simple things. A cordless drill. Uh, it is also a Ryobi. If you've watched my other video on the d super easy DIY uh, compost screener, this is the tools that I used. Uh, and then in addition to that, I'm gonna need a level. And I'm gonna need some screws. Uh, now, those are the things you probably will already have on hand at your house if you do any other projects like myself. The things you will need to go buy are the gutters. Okay, so I've just went with a simple white gutter. There are a couple of other options out there you can get. You can get brown. I think you can get a like a metal color and possibly even a green. Uh, you could always take this and paint it whatever color you want so that it matches your garden scheme or whatever you've got going on. Uh, to me, I'm not super worried about that. Uh, so I'm just going with white. Now one thing you do, will want to consider is when you're buying the colors or painting the colors or whatever like that, you want to make sure you consider uh, the amount of heat that the color is going to draw in. So for me, I used white because it doesn't draw in a lot of heat. It doesn't absorb a lot of heat. Um, these are metal. Uh, you could also get a vinyl gutter. Uh, I chose to go with metal just because for the simple fact that they're, I think it's a little bit more durable. Uh, and in addition to that, you also want to buy the caps. Uh, just a little disclaimer. One of the things that I had an issue with when I went to buy these gutters is, number one, uh, I really didn't think much about it. Uh, but I had no clue, <laughs> no clue that the end caps uh, actually had labeled right, left. So, very important that you get uh, the right end caps, one right, one left per gutter, because uh, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have known about that if I didn't go and take a few minutes to look. Um, so, definitely check that out. Uh, we're going to simply attach these gutters. I've already got, we've already got this one gutter attached. I'm going to go back and put some more screws in it just to secure it. But we're going to simply attach this bottom gutter to this fence using some three inch screws and the drill. Alright guys, so the next thing you want to do is you want to take a level, and you want to make sure these are level. I'm not going to be able to show you the bubble, but pretty easy to use. Right Alright, once you get it level, you got it? Mm -hmm. Get you another screw, and let's do this one too. I just need a couple more screws to secure this. Thanks, babe. Just need a couple more screws to secure this. We should be good to go. Remember what I said before? There are left and right. So make sure you got the right ones if you're on the right, left if you're on the left. Sounds so difficult. Bad 
more used to. All right, guys. So we're back, and we we have the gutters attached to the fence, and I'll give you a little quick look at how they're attached. They're attached with some uh, three three inch screws. Uh, these are the best ones I've found uh, for putting anything really together. Uh, definitely awesome screw, but that's how they're attached. They're attached to both of these landscape timber posts. Um, not only uh, this one here, but also the one down here as well. They're both attached uh, on each post. Uh, and then over here on this side as well, they're attached to both posts again. So, you ready to mix up the soil to get these strawberries planted. Uh, I'll take you along on that process. Uh, I've showed you mixing soil before. Um, but can always uh, use one soil mix for everything. Uh, so in this case, we're going to be adding some cocoa coir uh, and some worm castings and some eco scraps fertilizer. So yeah, let's get the soil mixed up and let's get these filled. All right, so that's pretty much mixed up. So now we're gonna go over to the gutters. And we're gonna put this in there. Using a little pot to transfer it. So we've got some soil in there. We're gonna take some of this Eco Scraps uh, organic fertilizer. We're gonna put a little bit in there uh, down the way, and we're also gonna put some worm castings in. Worms? <sighs> gonna put some worm castings in there. Uh, it's worm poop. Ew. 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 They don't touch the strawberries. It's still nasty. It's just strawberries. Now when you do this, you don't wanna fill the, the soil all the way up because you want to mix this fertilizer into the bottom part of the soil. You don't want it to get too close to the roots. Get some worm castings here. They're nasty. No, this is, like, this, is gold. this is like gold. Black gold. Gonna take your hand and mix it. Perfect. No, I need some more over here. Some more dirt? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting it. Then you want to fill it up the rest of the way with the soil. You do want to leave a little bit of a gap at the top because you don't want them overflowing too much.
All right, guys, so we're back, and we've got the gutters all filled up. As you can tell, uh, they're filled up with the cocoa coir mixture, the cocoa coir, the uh, Kellogg's organic potting mix, worm castings, and a little bit of Eco Scraps organic fertilizer. Uh, mix that in. They're filled up. They're ready to plant. Uh, what will be going in these are all-star strawberries. All right, so I got these strawberries uh, on not really on sale, but I got them at a great deal. Uh, if you haven't checked out that video, you can check that out right here. Um, got them at a local feed store. Great deal. Basically, it's a little under $20 for this entire flat for 36 plants. Um, so yeah, we're going to get these planted. Hopefully, I've got enough room in the two gutters for all 72 plants. We, we'll see. Uh, I guess there, I can always buy another gutter, I guess. Maybe. Um, so, um, yeah, let's get, let's get started. All right, so when you plant a strawberry plant, you want to make sure that you don't plant it any deeper than it currently is. Um, each strawberry plant has what's called a crown, and that crown, if you bury it too much, if you bury it really any deeper than it is currently, you'll kill the plant. Um, so when you plant these, you want to make sure that they keep them at you keep them at the same level that they're planted out right now, and then you always want to always want to make sure to give them a nice water uh, watering in after you get them planted. Uh, this soil is pretty pretty moist, so we will just be doing a light watering, uh, and then over the next couple days, I'll get the irrigation hooked up to them. Uh, I'll be running drip irrigation. Uh, being that this is on the fence, uh, where everything else is, you can tell behind me there's my raised beds uh, right here, and then further down, all along that back fence is raised beds. All along this fence here where the strawberries are, I've got pots and different things, and it's all connected to a drip line. It's all connected to a half-inch main supply line uh, so that's one of my reasonings for putting them anywhere close uh, is to just that way it's easy to just snap in a drip system uh, right onto it and just be ready to go so I'm gonna get these planted and then I'll show you how to do one and then I'll get the rest planted and we'll just go from there all right here we go all right so on these it's real simple you just want to kind of kind of Squeeze the bottom, loosen that up, and then it's real simple just to pull out the entire plant. Now, these have been needing to be planted for a little while, for at least a week or so, so you just want to kind of loosen up the roots. Real simple stuff. Just kind of want to kind of loosen up the roots. And then all there is to it after that is you want to come in in your soil. I don't know if you can see that. You just want to kind of take your hand and make a little, little hole. And like I said, you only want to plant it to the same depth that it is right now. There we go. And you want to make sure not to bury the crown any deeper than it is right now. Just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy okay so I'll get these planted and I'll come right back Thank you. 
they're all planted. You gotta get them watered in. Let's do it. As I said before, this soil is pretty moist already. So we're just gonna give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a drink. And the two gutters didn't hold all 72 plants. Should have known that. I mean, come on. Should have known that. So I'm gonna have to figure out where to put 42 plants. This fit, this fit 30. So yeah, more gutters, just pots. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Let's get them watered. Alright guys, so we are done. Uh, we've built the gutter grow system for the strawberries. Uh, it is a super easy thing to do. Uh, it cannot be any easier. Um, you know, I said before that I was going to cut them in half, and then you know what? <laughs> kind of mid-project, I changed my mind. I changed my mind I was going to put them on uh, the fence instead. I can leave them the full uh, 10 foot. Uh, but yeah, it's super easy to do. Um, anybody could do it. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. Um, it's a great way to grow things vertically in your garden to grow more food uh, in a small space so definitely check check it out um, and I will definitely be updating you on how the strawberries are doing some of them are already got some uh, berries on them uh, so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, consider sharing uh, if you haven't checked us out on social media, you can do that now. Follow the links in the description below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, pop those in the comments section below, and I'll get back with you. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hi, everybody. It's John with Backyard Eden. And to... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Clay, inside. You're such an idiot, dog. There's a fence there between you. <clears throat> Hush. The magic of editing. Hey, you made it to the end. Awesome. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right below this video. And please, if you enjoyed it, share with your friends. And I hope that you will come back and continue to watch our content and also have an awesome day.